Where the fuck were you last week, bro? Uh, a couple things. Well, one, you know, we cut podcast on Fridays normally. That's correct. So I was busy Friday um, dealing with my exhausting family. What's your problem? Hit that switch for me. Tell De- us about your family. Dealing with my exhausting family. It was Passover. Uh, I know a lot of you guys That's are... That's a Jewish thing. It's a Jewish thing. I know a lot of you guys are Christian heathens. And uh, just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Jokes. Uh, and you celebrate Easter on Sunday. But we celebrated Passover, which began sundown on Friday. And so we had Passover dinner at my grand- grandparents. The food, I could best describe it as uh, bland and unflavorful and weird. My mother made a comment about my grandmother's cooking. Okay. Where she goes... Uh, you know, this could use more... Uh, Everything. Uh, no, she goes, uh, flavor. <laughs> she just said more flavor. As if it's a seasoning. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> it's a flavor. I could use more flavor. You're... I died. She right oh, to my grandma's face. God, that's funny. So that was good. And of course, it was just like awkward questions. And it was just miserable. It was just a miserable time. So I couldn't do it Friday because I had to do this. I mean, I could have done it late, but uh, decided that coming here at like 9.30 wouldn't make sense. You know, so fuck that. Then Saturday... Uh, my my team, a lot of you don't know this, I went to M- Madison, Wisconsin for my undergrad. Oh, yeah. And they were playing in the Wisconsin, or sorry, the NCAA March Madness Tournament. Kentucky. They played Kentucky that night, and they, they, they beat them. It was an incredible upset. Kentucky was undefeated prior to that. Uh, they, got, they got this hubris right there. Yeah, exactly. So uh, they're, they're coached by a sleazebag by the name of John Calipari. Even Got a sleaze, sleazebag name. Uh, just like a greasy sa- like suit salesman. Might type. as well be. Yeah. He's got that slick back hair. He's like, oh, come to my yeah, school. I'm such a good fucking coach, huh? Come to my school. He's okay. not actually Italian, but All right. um, but he's a, he's a sleazebag. So we won. It was amazing. We, seven seven players in their team declared for the NBA draft, so they're a big hot shot team. Oh, big fucking swinging yeah. dicks over there. But they lost. They're hubris. And a lot of people have said that. And then on Monday, we played in the national championship game, uh, second time in the history of Wisconsin, the first one since like 1942. Lost in a heartbreaker, buddy. Lost in a heartbreaker. I was really depressed about it. Real broke me down. I'll, I'll admit it. I teared up a little bit. It was sad. It was emotions. Really? A little bit. Not as much as I cried last year when I was drunk in a bar uh, and they lost to Kentucky. So that was another thing. It was a great revenge game, the Kentucky game. Uh, but that's why I couldn't be here. So okay, I'm well, sorry, guys. Football's more important than the podcast and well, our fans. Well, so. it's basketball, so you don't know. What <laughs> you mean. Football's been over for a long time. <laughs> You're I don't disgusting. Give a, I don't give a fuck. Why do you hate sports? I don't know. I don't know either. It doesn't even make sense. You have no reason. It's not like you were how, on... How is any, what, anybody reason for not liking sports? I just don't... More, a, lot of people, a, fuck, a lot of people don't like sports because... A lot of women don't like sports because, let's say, their husbands like it and it, it drags them away from them. Well, okay. That's, 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 one, that's one small women reason. Women are okay. A lot, of, a lot of people don't like it because they were bullied in high school and the people they were bullied by were typically jocks. No, that's not... A lot of people don't like it because maybe they're, they're just, nah, they can't easy. compete in it because they're not physically able and so mm. they, they feel outside. Nah. None of those reasons fit you. Right. You have zero reasons. You have no reason to hate it. It's not that I hate sports. It's that I hate how big of a deal it is to like. I hate how much others like sports. The problem like, with that you is wanna you want to love yeah. yo-yos. You know, I'm not going to be like a fucking yo. Like I don't give a fuck. You know, you can like yo-yos, but like the fact that so many people are in sports and they're so fucking diehard and they're like, oh, fucking, f- fucking football game. It's just like get mm-hmm. the fu- get over it. There are plenty of other fucking things though that what people things? love. Tell me. Okay, let's let's say oh I don't know esports. You love video games. I love video games, but that's because I love them. If I play football, I'd love sports. You know, like I'm an outsider of sports. I never did it. You know, but I I, I like football. I will play it. I like basketball. Well, I'll shoot the hoops. I, you know, I mean, I like people, the sports. People get invested and they care about everything. Yeah. Uh, TV, television. People are crazy about television. You don't hate television. Um, you know, people well. people are Walking Dead fans and they go crazy about the show The Walking yeah, I don't Dead. Yeah, that at all. Well, you don't like the show, but that doesn't mean you hate tel- the medium of television. I don't. Yeah, I don't watch the show, but I don't hate people who like the show. What? Yeah, exactly. There's. It makes, I don't know either. There's no argument that I can't explain up in the face of If you arguments. know, guys, if you know why people hate sports so much, and it also doesn't. It's not people. It's not in. people. It's uh, other people hate sports too. Yeah, they do, but they, they hate it for a lot of the reasons I said. You uh, hate it for no reason that I can understand. Yeah. And know. you don't even bother to like <laughs> understand the sport, any of the sports, and you make weird sweeping generalizations. Although it does <laughs> like, cr- all, like all athletes are fags. Yeah, <laughs> just like horrible stuff. <laughs> Or it does allow for the, the great gag when occasionally, like, in a party, you'll just drop a really weird a Nolan, sport. A Nolan Ryan reference? Yeah, like a weird sports <laughs> reference. Like, oh, that's a, a Grand Slam. <laughs> like, it will, you know, it's way more specific than that. Yeah. That's a great gag. When a Krasny, Krasny makes a sport ref- uh, yeah. sports reference, everybody's impressed. It's like a puppy who doesn't shit in the bed. <laughs> it's, like, beautiful. 
I don't know why I don't like it, but I really just am not. I'm not interested at all, and I hate people who talk about it, and I hate hearing about them and people's fucking stupid teams and their affinity for them. I just don't give a fuck, you know. I just feel like it's a waste of time. I, but but it's not rational because I waste my time on a lot of stupid shit. I mean, is it because? Come on, jerk off at a cop! I'll say it live. They just jerk off at a cop. They literally jerk off at a cop. <laughs> That's what it is. I had the volume down. I <laughs> fucked up. Uh, we got to get a better way to get the soundboard involved. I mean, is there a website? This is well. There's no better way because the microphone has to catch the audio, so there's not really a better way for it. We got to get one of those fucking mixer boards. Well, like that, that one guy said. Maybe when you get your fi- big fucking logic. Yeah, you I mixer still board. still holding off on that. Still <laughs> on that one. Fucking. All right, well, let's get into this fucking podcast. One of these days, I'm gonna fucking get down to why you hate. Here's sports. a here's a situation that happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, our boy Eric Hart. He he sent this over to me. Okay. Uh, the story goes: there's this guy who's running a, 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 a revenge porn website. Now, what that means is people send him, like he, the website's homepage essentially is like, send me photos of your exes who you hate and I'll put them up on the site and you can share them with your friends. So people send them like, here's my girlfriend, you know, doing this shit naked, whatever. And he puts them up and then it, eventually the girlfriend finds out about it and then tries and then contacts him and says, I want my pictures off the site. And he says, give me $500 and I'll take them off. That's the website he ran. And he, you know, he had it for a while and he made a good amount of money. I think the number I remember is $18,000. That's off the top of my head. Or maybe it was $38,000. I don't remember how much it was. It wasn't a ridiculous amount of money, but he made some money extorting money from, uh, you know, these people. Mostly women, probably. I don't know if it's mostly women, but I'm guessing probably it is because men would care less. Boyfriends would want the picture taken down. Yeah, I feel like that would happen less. I'm only, I'm only just straight up guessing. Sure. Anyway, he got caught. He got tried. He got. He's 28 years old. He got 18 years in prison for this. For like, you know, 300 uh, uh, um, counts, of, counts of, of identity theft and whatever, whatever. Now, me, Yuri's appalled by my opinion, as I'm sure everybody will be. I can't I wait just, for the comments I just, here. I just want to say that. We switched over to a new like note keeping app to like coordinate our podcast topics, and in the in the you can put comments. So Krasny posted this, and I read the, his brief blurb, basically saying what you just said. And in the comment, I just posted, "Are you insane?" My brief blurb is, "I think the punishment's too harsh, and this guy does not deserve to get what he got." Uh, and in, I, I also don't think this is this crime is that big of a deal. You're insane. You're a horrible. Uh, you're insane. You you're a tyrant. Sorry, man. I, I mean, I don't think I'm a tyrant in this case, but my, in my opinion. Here's a question I will ask, yeah. and I ask this to Eric. And here's a question I'll ask: If 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 I'm if we're dating, me and you, and you let me take pictures of you naked, and I like I want to take I'm, I'm, I love you very much. I want to take pictures of you naked so I can jerk off to them tomorrow. I really like love you. Blah blah blah. You were like, yeah, okay, I love you when you jerk off to me. I take pictures of you. At what point did those become my photos? That's a question I want to ask. And according to this, never. They're always your photos. But they're my photos. You know what I'm saying? When do I take ownership of those pictures of you? Like, they're of you, but I want, they're mine, right? If I ask for permission and you grant me permission to take them, do they bec- ever become my photography? Um, maybe. I don't, I'm not so much in- interested in, like, the intellectual property. Well, I mean, that's what I'm asking. Because then the people, the, my, my point is, when is it your fault that you let your photos get out? You know, like, by choice. And, and then my fault for uploading your photos to this site. And when does it become his fault for hosting that? And then he's f- let me, taking let, the fall for let all me, this. Let me tell you. Okay. It becomes a, a problem when you're violating these women's privacy in this horrible way and then extorting them for money to get it taken down. You're right. I don't give a shit about the intellectual property or well, who owns the picture. No, That's well, fucking terrible. Here's a, if I buy a woman... And she goes, I'll, you, can, you can own me. Own me. For $1,000, you can own me and just do whatever and like abuse me. Like that's still a horrible, horrible thing. I, I don't know. Like I'm not, she's not my property that because you can't own people. That's like the, the horrible part of no it. No one's owning a person here. I'm just saying that like there, there's still an underlying sense of horribleness and seediness to it. I'm not saying it's it, good. I'm not, I'm just, it's bad. It's horrible. It's, You're it's a, the punishment doesn't fit the crime? Absolutely, I'm saying All right. That. One of those girls is 17. She's a minor. Okay. Ped- pedophilia. That's not. That wasn't on his thing. I, none of those girls were underage. That's not. It wasn't. Does, on his... does the punishment fit the crime then? If one of those girls is seventeen, and now he gets eighteen years for for child porn, does the punishment fit the crime then? 
I th- would say still no. But but I, that didn't happen here, so I okay. mean I'm not sure why that. It, it's just still a horrible violation of these girls' privacy. They never. Expected. But okay, you're right. And now you're posting but these that like, viola- private pictures. No, I would say the violation is the fault of the person who uploaded the photos, not the host of the site. You can still own your. I, th- I think you can own your image. What does that mean? Like like Tiger Woods owns his image. You can't just take a picture of Tiger Woods and use it to sell stuff. Well, he's a celebrity. That's different. That's not that doesn't apply to everybody. That's because he can sell stuff. Because like your your face won't sell fucking anything. Like that's a different. That's a whole different deal. To be fair, you don't. Well, you're a handsome face. You're a handsome. But Tiger Woods is different. You can't put his face on golf. I just I just don't understand how you you don't think that take like like don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. I agree that it's a crime. You don't think it's okay? How many years is appropriate for this crime? I would for this. Yeah. Twelve months in minimum security prison, a large fine, and a thousand hours community service. What are you basing that on? I'm basing it on that the fact that this guy is not a violent criminal. Removing him from the general population is not a priority. He's not a threat to human beings. Okay, like a rapist and a murderer, they get 18 years in prison because they need to be removed from society. This guy, he needs a slap on the wrist. No, no, absolutely not. Because well, a slap on the wrist, he just keeps doing this. He won't, fuck a he slap won't on keep the wrist. doing it. If he, he made so much it. money. Fuck, fuck a fine. His lawyer. Look, if, if, the, if the charge is twelve, if twelve months, mm-hmm. they'll settle. They'll settle for way less. They'll, they'll plead down for Okay, that. well, whatever. It, it doesn't. Whatever. Twelve months, fine. Nothing. I'll, I'll do a twelve months and come out with a thirty-eight thousand dollars. Yeah, with a salary. Thirty-eight thousand dollars. Yeah. To go to twelve months in prison, you do that. But you don't spend any of it. That's the point. You come out of prison. Okay, look, I mean, the, I mean, if you want to call that a good deal, it's that's not a fine. Good, it's not a good deal. The, my it's point is, deal. my point but here is, removing this guy from society isn't what's important. He's a predator. That's not true. He's absolutely a predator. No, it's not. He feasts on these on these on these women. You no, he's not feast on women. Absolutely, it's not. The pictures happening. of them. That's not what's happening here. It's such a violation. Like I don't understand how you. do The it. violation is caused by the boyfriends, not the fucking host of the site. He sees an opportunity to make money on ad revenue and yes, extortion. That's too bad. So so. But it should because be, it's a loophole. Shut up. Shut up. Unreal. It shouldn't Unreal. be. It shouldn't be thirty eight cases of identity theft. It should be thirty eight cases of extortion. Okay, which is probably a much less crime. Are you sure? Do you even know what the charge I is? I have no fucking idea. Fine with the charges. Well, it's definitely identity theft. I know that for sure. It's many cases of identity theft. No, it wouldn't be identity theft. It's identity that's theft what is it when is, you man. pretend you're somebody else. I take, it's when you just, I take your identity. That's what's in the fucking link. We'll, we can look at it after the break. I mean, I can look it up. But all I'm saying is, yeah. here's what this guy is. He's 28 years old. He obviously had... Well, not obviously, but he probably had no idea what the consequences of, is of the crime he's doing. I, I had no idea. If you told me this guy's been doing this before he was tried, I was like, what, what happens if he get caught? The last thing I would think is 18 years in prison. Well, let me tell you. If I was a fucking sleazeball who did this, the first thing I do is look up the penalties and try to figure that out. Because if he's such a savvy fucking entrepreneur businessman, maybe, you're right. maybe you should look it up. Maybe you should. I, I was running you know, a, a parody account for a while, and the first fucking thing I did was look up, am I violating any laws doing this? Okay. If you're a fucking telling me that this guy's putting up naked pictures of chicks from their boyfriends, no clue, you know, who they are, anything about them, and then extorting them for money, and you, and he doesn't look up what the possible penalties are, he's a fuckhead. That's step one. 28 counts of identity theft and six counts of extortion. So there are, there's so, extortion, but the identity so theft is So this should so be weird. 21 counts of extortion is what that should be. I agree. Zero identity I theft. I think I agree with that. That's okay, really well, weird. whatever that, that, okay. But here's what I'm saying. This prison, what's the point of putting this guy in prison? This girl, to serve justice? This girl here. Look, I, I don't want to hear about the funny story. hospitals twice because of this. Look. They're, it's such a horrible violation of, of these women. These people, are you kidding me? That's her boyfriend's fault, man. It's her boyfriend's fucking fault for uploading the photos. Find her fucking boyfriend. She knows his fucking name. She dated the fucking guy. Fine, find him too. Absolutely. Hi, hi, fuck, it, fuck that guy up. Okay. He's the malicious one. All this right. guy's an entrepreneur. A guy's, a guy's selling child porn in the streets. Okay. Why are you going to keep bringing child porn? Because, because listen, what's the fucking difference if your logical conclusions here? The guy sung child porn in the streets. Okay. Don't find him. Don't charge him. Find the guy who videotaped the child porn or who participated in the child porn. The guy didn't do anything. He was just selling it. He found a quick way to make a buck. He found child porn. The point is, the goal of society here is to deter the behavior. And if all if you're allowing this guy to get off because he found this loophole where he so just the goal, sold it. If the goal is to deter behavior. Yeah. Is that the goal? It's one of the goals, absolutely. Laws are passed for that reason. It's a goal. That's why. That's but what, that goal could have been accomplished by fining him half a million dollars. No, because that's the point. It, it's not. A, it might not be a deterrent enough. A uh, half a million dollars is not a deterrent enough. I don't know. Well, I would say it is. Here's what I would. All think. right, then he files for bankruptcy, and that's it. And then he just starts over. This guy could be a very functional part of society. Hey, rapist, charge him five million dollars. You know, let me let me flip you. Let me flip it over on yeah. you. Yeah. 
people who steal MP3s yeah. find them three million dollars. They do. I mean, I know they yeah, do. Yeah. Is that a fucking joke or is that serious? I think that's a joke. I think that's absolutely a fucking joke. Yeah. Why? Because those people aren't fucking criminals. Is why. Well, that's that's a that's a whole separate issue. I mean, that's like, well, it's it's not that separate of an issue yeah. because I think that crime stealing MP3s from yeah. artists who deserve the money versus this crime, which is worse, and I think it deserves worse. But putting people in prison to remove them from society for you know that that's nonsense. This guy, look, you got caught. You're fucked. You pay a bunch of money. You do community service. Now go use your talents, which are extensive. His talents are, aren't that of being a big brutist rapist. His talents are that of being an entrepreneur and a web developer. So he can make a difference in the world. He's, he's a real person. You know, he's like a, a talented individual. Putting him in prison doesn't serve society. All right. I mean, yeah, you can say about a lot of things. Drug laws. I mean, I think drug laws are bullshit. I, I, I agree with that. They're yeah. all bullshit. Like... Putting somebody in jail for life for three strikes of smoking weed. I agree. That's as thing. stupid as this. But this is there's a maliciousness here. Not from is, him. Yes, absolutely. He I knew don't what agree. he was doing. Well, he knew that he was hurting these women. He's extorting money from them for fuck's sake. He knew. Sake. He knew the extortion was real. So if the extortion is too, okay, extortion, extorting somebody, uh, sexual, a sexual crime involved. Let me two what? two years each count. Okay. Six counts. Well, here's the other thing I don't like is is applying like the proliferation of the internet mm. to counts. I don't like that. Like when you download an MP3 times a thousand in a dollar per MP3, that ends up being a lot of fucking money. Yeah, all right. I think that's like I think that's I a fair point. I don't like that. We need we need to revamp the way these laws uh, are do. charged because it if something's so like able like like if you commit I don't know whatever, but it's it's that, I agree that might be fucked up. But I don't think it's excessive here. I think it's really fucking horrible what he did. I think he knew he was doing it, and I think there's a pattern of continuing it. No, I see. I don't think there's a pattern. I, I don't think there's a pattern. Because I think because he, he never got punished for it. I th- well maybe yes absolutely I think that he's like well this is a good opportunity he's dumb enough not to check the, the, like legality yeah. okay he's he made a mistake he's 28 he's not like you know he's not that old he's a youngish kid and and okay he made a mistake he like oh I have an opportunity right. for a lot of money he fucks some girls over but uh, what what's a worse crime rape no no this oh, okay or <laughs> I answered your question I feel like this or a 23 year old kid okay. Maybe not kid twenty. Let's say a, let's say a twenty one year old. Okay. Who goes out drinking, is driving home, has a little too much to drink, and actually accidentally hits somebody who's walking on the side of the road and kills him. What's the worst crime? What is worse to you? This one, this kid who made a mistake was driving a little bit drunk. Some guy's walking on the side of the road. I mean, he, he shouldn't be driving drunk. You're asking a great question. You know, the difference to me is that kid made a really large mistake and he really sh- fucked up there. But it was there wasn't a malicious intent. He never intended to hurt that person. You're right. In this case, this guy knew he was hurting women. He knew he he showed a pattern of doing it. Well, what's he he doubled down on the maliciousness by not only posting these site these pictures of these girls, but also extorting them for money to get them taken down. Probably a lot of them couldn't pay. Right. But hurting their lives that way. Yeah. That that to me is a sick, is a sick person. That's it, fucked up. You're right. And I don't want the, I don't know if I want that person. On, I mean, the really, streets. like, is he a threat to you or your girl or your girlfriend right now? Maybe. Is he a threat? Not to me, but to other women out there. Like, girls, girls, let's let's apply just to you. Is he a threat to your girlfriend? No, because I'm not going to sell my pictures of my girlfriend to this Absolutely guy. Absolutely, you're not. And he's not a threat to me either. Okay? Doesn't matter. He's a threat to enough women. No, he's not. That's the thing. He's not a threat. He's a threat. Like, women who have terrible boyfriends, that's their fucking issue, okay? This guy's. Right. They might not know they're terrible, though. All right. You, you, you're in a relationship for 10 years. You're right. Fucking whatever. You're right. And you're like, you're like, baby, here's a naked picture of me. I Next mean, thing that's... you know, it, not all these guys are like some creeps who fucking, like, you know, maybe maybe a lot of these guys are good guys who in are this in a case, tough bind. I, I really think it's their fault for this. I think they should be punished. And the fact you're straight blaming the victim. No, I'm blaming the. You're fucking, no, you're blaming I, the no, girl. I'm blaming for, the you know, predator. You're blaming the girl for giving the picture to the boyfriend because the girl couldn't have known that the boyfriend that's, would do this. That's that's false. I'm blaming the boyfriend. Blame both. I'm, oh. Why 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 is this guy getting off so light? Blame both. Uh, he's not getting off light. That's a fucking... Oh, you mean my, my mind? The boyfriends. The boyfriends. The boyfriends are getting off free. Yeah. And it's sad because the girlfriends know the fucking boyfriends. That's the fucking joke here. Is the girlfriends who had their photo... The, show, show a girl a photo of her naked. Who took that photo? Oh, Greg look, Anderson. Look, look, I agree. Well, the, get the, the fucking guy Greg Anderson goes. then. What the Fine. fuck? Fine. But here's the thing. Greg Anderson... You can stop a million Greg Andersons. Yes. All right? But a million Greg Andersons are all funneling into this one place. It's interesting between stopping a hundred people who buy pot and stopping the dealer who sells the pot. You want to stop the dealer. 
You know, I get that's it. the difference. I get it, but you know what? I just can't believe that you're looking at this and going, mm, "Too harsh." Like, yeah, absolutely, it's too harsh. It's too fucking harsh. This guy's life is ruined because he made a mistake. Chime in, chime in, everybody out there. Yeah, if you think in. 18 years is too harsh for this fucking scumbag, I mean, his life is over. It's not over. It's up. How fucking old is he? Over. He's 28. He's, he's gonna, gonna be out when he's fucking 50. So good time. He'll be out. Get the he'll fuck out, out of here. 45. His life's fucking over. He should kill himself. As a matter of fact, this fucking poor guy. Everybody out there who's 45 right now fucking thinks you're insane. 45? He's in... He misses... It's not like he, he, he gets right, 45. You're going to serve, serve good time. You'll... Good time. If you're in jail, there's a... Okay, when you go to jail, you get a prison sentence. And then you get an anticipated early release date based on good behavior. Oh, well, I don't because know. Because you get extra credit for good time you're served. You're giving me fucking lawyer, t- lawyer shit now. Well, it's basic shit. Like, you've ever seen, like... Like, people go on parole early. That's They're, they're on parole uh, because... You know they, what? I hope he gets out in 18 months. He, he that's the thing. Is even if, if his sentence is 18 years, his real prison time is probably 12. You know? Oh, only 12. Okay. It's fu- only 12. Fucking, he deserves it. No, he does not deserve it. A rapist deserves 12. A fucking, a guy who... A rapist deserves A guy who fucking murders... 50 years. A rapist deserves... Yeah a, yeah, a murderer deserves the death penalty. A rapist deserves 40 years. A fucking, uh, you know, animal abuser, I would say, deserves fucking 10 years. Minimum. Okay, that's what I would say. This crime, which is like... I didn't realize how big the penalty is. Just like the way the MP3 criminals are getting ch- fined $3 million and that's a fucking joke. This is a joke too. He committed a crime. He made a mistake. This is bad. He can no, pay mistake, society back. A mistake back. is he posted one picture look, of a girl on Facebook. Look. A he, mistake. He can a mistake say, is he, he posts one picture of a girl on Facebook. <laughs> that's a mistake. Creating a, a whole scheme of posting this website and then extorting girls for money on it. That's not a mistake. That is that is a bunch Look, of fucking let mistakes me ask you a question. planned it all Let out. me ask you one question. Yeah. Two, 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 two different uh, what, what I, consequences sure. to this crime. Yeah. Him being 18 years in prison or him him paying 1,000 hours community service building websites for nonprofit organizations. 18 years. You would prefer that. Those victims fucking deserve it. Oh, they deserve... They're, they they benefit from him being removed from society for 18 years? Why can't... He, they get their life right, back right, somehow right. that Here's way? Here's what I want. I don't, I don't want what those two options. Those right. are the two options. No, because you're giving me that fucking poll like you give those Senate people. Uh, do you want to make more money or do you want to make less money? It's the same... You can't give me those two options. This here, is here a great, those are great options. 10 years in prison, either 18 years in prison or 10 years in prison and you do 1,000 hours community service. Those okay, are those well, maybe, are options. Maybe more like four years. And Whatever. a thousand hours. Yeah, I would like that better. But okay, I don't great. I don't, but I don't want to give him no fucking time. I, I will say okay, give four years, a reasonable amount. Like he can learn from his mistake and then still be productive. Not lose his whole all fucking right, life. All right, all right. Let's then, look, what if you're wrong? He gets out in four years and he just keep, he makes a better scene. If he does it again, then he's fucked. But he's not gonna do it again. This time he's smarter though. This time he finds a way to not get look, fucked. He's not gonna do it again. He's going to say, you know what? I made a fucking mistake. That's not worth the risk. I can apply my web development knowledge in a much different way. Like developing websites for fucking nonprofits for $4,000 each and making still a great fucking living. This guy's a talented person. He's not just a thug rapist gangbanger. He's a talented technologist. All right, all right. Thug rapist gangbanger. Genius musician. What if they have a genius talent? Whoa, well, now they have a genius talent. Okay. Why don't we put this genius that's a talent great, You know what? That's a good, that's a, yeah. I would say that's a great fucking point. Is he a rapist? Who, this genius talent guy? Yes. Sure. Okay, he he rapes, fuck he ra- that guy. He's a rapist. All right, all right. He, He's a threat to my wife and your girlfriend. He, fuck that guy. He raped a girl at a college party. She got too drunk. It was like a, a thing. He's he's a rapist. Well, how much do rapists get? They don't or, get 18 he roofied, years. He roofied, he roofied. don't get 18 years. I don't know how much they get. They get fucking nothing is what they get. Well, let's say he roofies 20 girls. Okay, well, that's... But he's, I mean, but he's that's, a genius. But he roofies them, you know, but he's a genius guy. He's so I genius. I mean, okay, well, if you roofie 20... Give him four years. Give if you roofie If you roofie 20 girls, that's too much. Well, you... Oh, but, but if you... If you well, sell, he's a he's a threat to society, though. So is this guy. No, he's not. I think he This is. guy's not a threat to your wife or your girlfriend, not a threat to my wife. The rapist, on the other hand, is a threat to both. Let's say my girlfriend. A long time ago, yep. or let's say you know, one of our girlfriends sent a naked picture to somebody else who's not us, and that saw that somebody is bitter that now they're not with them anymore, and now they post that picture online, and this guy fucking gets it. It's still a fucking threat to my girlfriend. Then. Not from this guy. Yes, absolutely. If if they po- if they send it to if they, this ex this jilted ex lover. Oh, because before he was into prison. Yeah, sends it to this guy. Okay. He's a threat. There's always that possibility. Just because, like, and, and that's such a selfish mindset to me, like. That, that because it's not a threat to me at this very second doesn't mean it's, it, like, it's not a threat to well, other people. Well, it's a threat to society. I'm just saying you yeah. are our society in this case. Like, a, when he gets out of prison, he let's say he serves one year, okay? I don't believe he'll do this again. I don't. 
I don't believe he'll do it again. Well, I'm glad you have such. I think he'll learn. He'll learn his lesson. Right. Okay, if you steal MP3s, right, right. if you steal your MP3s, entire your entire argument's based on the fact that you believe he's rehabilitable. Absolutely, well, he what, is. Well, what if the court looked at him and said, "You know what? I don't believe this guy is," which is probably the part of the trial. The court's fucking wrong. Then how do you fucking know this guy so well? What are his best fucking friend? Because does the, he literally because, jerk off in a cup with you? Because he is a smart person who made a whole fucking website and a whole Listen, industry. Sociopaths are smart people. You can be a fucking sociopath serial killer. But they're, they're, they're big risk to society, though. This What's guy that? is, too. That's my whole point. He, In fact, this guy probably sounds like a fucking sociopath. And for all you know, he'll just... This is step one on his steps so. to becoming a I rapist. I don't think so. No, I mean, come on. Look. Come on. Your your entire argument right here is based on the fact that you think this guy's a good guy. He seems like a nice chap. He's, he's definitely... No, he's a bad guy, but he's rehabilitatable as fuck. Absolutely. I don't... You're basing that off nothing. Well... Off literally nothing but your I mean, gut, condemning him to a lifetime of crime and putting his life away is definitely ruining... It's not good for society. Look, it's a, a joke. Gr- you're right. There's a great argument between the three reasons for... Pr- for The three methods of like uh, of punishment. There's rehabilitation, deterrence, and punishment, right? And just... What are you, j- that's it. Punishment. So there's three things you're looking at when you when you create laws. Okay. Right? You want to... You There's three focuses. You, one is the focus on punishment. You get punishment and you... you it, it teaches somebody a lesson. There's a sense of justice there. We talk, I talked about this in a, a philosophy of law class once, right? You you get justice for the victim's families and you help them get closure and feel better, all right? And you put this person away and, and there's a, a benefit to society there. The other one is deterrence. So now people will look at this and go, oh shit, they've heard the story. Well, they go, you know, you know what? I'm right. not going to do this anymore. As a deterrent. And the third one is re- rehabilitation because now you want this person to be better in the future. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? I agree. I think rehabilitation is a very important thing. And I don't think that you should... I think the problem with this is maybe not... Don't fucking lock this guy up for 18 years and then leave him alone. Lock this guy up for a long time. Maybe 18 years. Maybe 10 years. I don't know. But involved with that, some rehabilitation. Involved with that, some programs. Involved with that. Like, that's a problem with the system. Not necessarily the what's happening here. And this might be a part of it. But I'm saying that this guy is a horrible person. And I don't think he deserves a fucking slap on the wrist. I think that... If you, he needs to be punished. He needs to be punished severely for the deterrence fa- factor, for the punishment justice factor. And then if you want to throw rehabilitation in there, that's a, th- a third unique criteria. You don't just think only rehabilitation and therefore that's all there is. You know? I think all those are all three equally important and there needs to be a balance. And when you just say rehabilitate him by letting him do work on websites for, you know, whatever, Homeboy. those other two are fucked. Homeboy who uh, murdered a bunch of dogs, what's his fucking name? That fucking football cunt. What's his fucking Oh, name? Michael Vick. That fucking cocksucker fuck. What'd he get? A $30,000 fine? We went to prison. Oh, Not good. for a long time. Oh, for six months? It was a couple, okay, it was like look. two years. Look, I agree. That was enough. That I know you agree. Enough. I fucking yeah. know you agree. Yeah. All I'm saying is this whole fucking thing is fucked, okay? Yeah. And, and But look, he killed a couple dogs. A couple? He killed a bunch of dogs. I'm, I'm, I'm being you right now. I'm being you. Okay, a couple. All right, he killed a couple dogs. I mean, don't be me about dog killing. I know, I'm just, just saying, I'm just saying. Fucked up. All right, he, he committed a crime. But now he donates thousands of charities of, a, of, a, of you know, humane society. and uh, There's his rehabilitation. Isn't that all you want? He got his couple of years. That's what you want for this You're guy. You're making a good point. You're making a good yeah. point. This, here's where this is stemming from. Okay, You are obviously on, on I would say, the majority side. Mm-hmm. I, I, I straight up don't think this crime is that bad. Having naked pictures of you out on the internet, I don't think it's that big of a fucking deal. Straight up. I don't. I don't think it's a big of a fucking deal. If pictures of me naked were on the internet, I wouldn't really care that much. I mean, I care a bit, but it wouldn't ruin my fucking life. I wouldn't be seeing a therapist about it unless they're really fucking weird photos. You maybe know what I mean? Are. Or what maybe if, they what are if, for that one girl. There's a picture of, of a girl, S and a D, you know? She's got a, a, a dick in her mouth. In this picture. Sure. Future, risk of future employer. The, the stress that someday a future employer might find that. Yeah. I would fucking think about that every fucking day. It would stress the shit out of me. That would drive me to a fucking therapist for sure. Like, that would drive me I don't believe, crazy. I don't believe it would drive you a therapist. I don't believe what you're saying. Listen, I fucking... I don't believe you. I lay awake at night thinking about the weirdest fucking shit. I couldn't well, imagine... Well, you're working government law, though. Crazy. So it's fucked for I you. made you take my name off this podcast because a future employee might... might. Well, like I said, man, you work for government law, so it's different for forget you. Forget government law, though, because I'm going to be looking for a different job pretty soon because when my contract runs out... Well... And I'm still thinking about employers. You know, like, I don't want an employer looking at me like, hmm, this guy's I get what you're... I, I get yeah, it. I get yeah, the risk. Yeah. I get it. But like I've said some ridiculous fucking nonsense. Yeah. I've said straight up ridiculous shit. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not scared of it, and it has never affected my life yet. You know, maybe it will eventually, but I'm not there yet. 
But really, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. Like if I have a naked picture of myself up somewhere on Facebook, I have a picture of my bare ass on Facebook for a long time. It was Mitch and, and somebody else, I forgot who it was, grabbing my bare ass while I'm cooking fucking an omelet at my birthday party. And that was at Facebook for many years before somebody flagged it and it was removed. Yeah. But like that was up there. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I don't give it wasn't my dick, I guess. Well, you were fucking you were working at like your your you were managing your parents' pizza place at that point. Like, what do you You're care? You're right. I didn't care. Yeah. But, like, I just don't think it's that big of a fucking deal. I don't think that really happens that often. I don't know. I think the idea that it, this isn't your choice to put this up. It was a private thing. You, you're clearly been violated. Well, it's I pretty mean, fucked up. I, it's, I, have it's some, really I have some shit about that. If All right. He, well, then, okay. If okay. he stole your identity and stole your photos, right, right. that's different. All right. I'll say this. It'd be, it'd be still pretty fucking bad if he just did it. But then if he puts them up and you say take them down and you go give me a thousand bucks, yeah, that's where the Greek came in. That's, that's, where the, that's the, in. the fucked up. That's, that's the ex- extra level. That's of the extortion. Up. That's yeah. not the extra level. That's the only level, in my opinion. The extortion is the level. You know, I agree with you. I don't get the identity theft charge. I'd have to look into what the it's, official it's language up. is. Well, that's um, what it was tried for. So that's, I, that's I think, I think there's a lot tried. of criminally charged for it. Yeah. Charged. Yeah, in, in uh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, convicted. Convicted. Convicted yeah. for. Yep. But. Yeah, that's I, that's weird to me too. I agree. I, like I want to look, look up what the wording of the law. Maybe the extortions. I don't know if it's better or worse, but I'm offended by like identity theft. When he was donated the photos by people who thought they owned the photos. If I take photos of my wife naked and I say, "Please give me the photos," she says, "Yes, take them." They're my fucking photos, in my opinion. At the break, I'll look up the the definition of identity theft. We should take a break. Uh, no, I, I, last thing oh, I'll wait. say here. Yeah, I know. Okay, we'll say Is just, just fucking, I want to hear your opinions. Hey, I please wait. give us your opinions. Hey, here. you know what was fucking juicy? Just real mad juicy? What? Is when I looked at the, the comments from the last episode I was on. And I saw so many people just go, Yuri's Yuri, so right. Yuri's Yuri, so, Yuri, so right. Oh, I jerk off to Yuri all I, day. Oh, like. Jerk off in a cup to Yuri. These guys. Do it. Jerk off in a cup. Oh, my God. I mean. What was that about? I forgot what the fucking topic was. These guys. They literally jerk off in a cup. To how right I was. How, what was the topic? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thanks oh, for coming. Fuck. You were seventy seven so, percent. Me and Yuri are fucking having a straight up fight about <laughs> last last two weeks podcast about Sir Evans. Oh, back Yuri, there. tell him that you don't think she's a bad parent. I don't think she's a bad parent. Don't think, even say a fucking other yes, word. Yes, no, no, don't stop. say another fucking I'm word. I'm gonna say it. I don't think she's a bad parent. Literally. Tell, Literally. Tell those fucking cunts that, man. Not me. I don't think they do either. This is this is like when you think what was that one thing? Oh, you thought what was it? You thought that. uh there was some saying that you thought everybody thought was literal. Do you remember that? Uh, Einstein said that. No, no, no. It was something else. We'll look back and see what it was. There was something where you're like, oh, he's idiots. They think it's literal. Oh, the, it's the literal definition of insanity. Einstein said it. No, that's, you thought that, it was, that everybody thought the definition of insanity was doing the same people, thing. A lot of people said that. You thought everybody thought, uh, whatever. We're done with that. Yeah. Okay, here's what I'm saying. Here's what my Sarah Evans argument was about. I don't think she's a bad parent. In the sense that child protection should come to her house and take her kids and save the kids from this horrible parent. I think that she's created standards for herself as a parent and she has failed in exercising those standards by not pre-screening the content she shows her kids if it bothers her that much. That is my argument. End of story. Look, I mean, no joke. Me and Yuri fought about this for fucking 40 minutes yeah. just before we start this, this, this break. So. Yeah. I'm not even talking about it. We're over it. I want to eat these fucking Cadbury eggs. No, we got ca- okay. If you know Easter happened, and now yeah. everything's on clearance. Cadbury eggs, cream-filled eggs are on clearance. You ever had one of these? Oh yeah, I actually have a theory. Uh, things taste better in egg form. <laughs> Great fucking theory. I I had a Twix egg the other day. The best Twix I've ever had in my life. And I don't know if it was an egg. It was an egg shape. It was just Twix egg, Twix Easter version. And they had these for everything. You, you ever, you go on, I saw you had some of the, you go on Walgreens, like the Russell Stover's ones. Red velvet egg, uh, birthday cake egg, wedding cake egg, lemon cake egg, like all these yeah. fucking eggs. eggs. They're amazing. But like Snickers egg, Milky Way eggs, they're all better in egg form. And I think it's because the, I shape, got a of the, egg. the shape of the egg creates a different ratio of the candy that you don't normally experience. It's so like the Twix eggs is kind of like rounded. It's concave. Oh no, convex, I think. Convex, excuse me. It's convex, so there's a more caramelly ratio to the cookie bar, and it's just better, you know? You might be right. Yeah. So we're eating uh, clearance uh, Cadbury cream-filled eggs right now, having a great time mm. with brandy. You hear your quality over here? I, I <laughs> what is, is this title my fucking topic? It's mine. It's my topic. I read about this. Yeah. And I didn't give a fuck, but you're bringing it up as a topic, so I'm, cl- I'm glad you are. Yeah. Tell us about it. So, I, I put a little blurb here. 
But here's what Tidal is. You might have heard about it. Tidal is a streaming service. Uh, I don't know if it's pushed by Jay-Z or created by Jay-Z. He's like the guy behind it, right? And what it is is it's basically Spotify. So it's a streaming service. But it it costs more. So it's $20. And the whole idea behind it is it's getting more artists to money because Spotify doesn't pay the artists enough. Uh, I guess it's a fine idea. So you pay more as because as, you care about the artists? Partially. Now, the other thing they're offering the people is higher quality music. It is a streaming version of the Pono player. You mm-hmm. remember that? That's exactly what I thought when I read that. Yeah, it's the same argument. So they're saying you get that lossless compression or whatever fucking thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Jerk up in a cup. Yeah, jerk up in a cup. To fucking good music quality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta eat this egg. <laughs> Oozing all over my ham. Uh, but here's the problem. Hackers got it. No. That that's that wouldn't be a problem. That'd just be fucked. But the problem is it sucks. There's a problem. It's a horrible service. There's a I'll post a link to the Gawker article. I know Gawker is whatever, but I've read several articles that are like this is horrible. It's like basically a beta version of the app. Only you have to pay twenty dollars a month to use it. Mm-hmm. But it's unattractive. It's ugly as fuck. It's like I said, it costs twice as much. It's barely usable. It's got the weirdest interface I've ever seen in my life. Like you open it, instead of being like like now playing or new releases or you know like based on your listening preference. It's like Jay Z shit. It's it's even like yeah it's like it's like tribute band album played listened to by Taylor Swift because like I, I don't know it's weird like you look you look at the stuff it's like popular art things that other artists like that you might like and just weird collections of shit. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Okay. Then, like this guy, this article was talking about, like if I search Kanye West on Spotify, I get Kanye West the artist. I can go to albums by Kanye West, and I get a bunch of stuff. I get Kanye West. If I search Kanye West on like title, I get like a bunch of weird songs, random collections by him. I get three different like instead of just Kanye West, it goes Kanye West with Rihanna, Kanye West with this person, Kanye West with this person, like all different artists, but they're really just Kanye West featuring people. Way too weird and disorganized. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the better sounding, you know, audio thing that we talked about, this is very questionable. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, this guy's like, I couldn't really tell the difference. So it's a shitty version of it's shitty. It costs more, and oh, it, if you do type in Kanye West, so you can get it'll take you to a merchandise store. You can buy old Kanye West shirts. Oh, discounted. great! Well, yeah. I want those shirts. Yeah. So it's a shitty version of an existing app. The Jay Z's pimping. And like the people pimping it are like Jay-Z. Here's the other thing I love about it. Here's the people who are like fronting for it, being like the artists don't get enough money. Jay-Z. Poor guy. Dead Mouse. Poor guy. Rihanna. Oh. Kanye West. And then I say Madonna. I mean, these and guys, Madonna, they hardly make any fucking money, poor guys. Like if this is your push. Just buy their albums. If this is your push that the artists don't get enough money, oh, get some indie artists up there. Jesus Christ. You know, be, like, be like, hey, I'm an indie artist. This is all I get for. That's like Bill Gates saying that Microsoft's not making enough money. Please buy. Yeah, Please don't need money to Microsoft. Yeah. So like, I, I, I don't think that their argument is completely unreasonable that maybe artists get jipped. I mean, that's that's a fair yeah. thing to say. But, but if you're a spokesperson. Not these fucking guys. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, we ought to buy a fucking jet and not give a fuck. Get some get some better spokespeople to represent your wow. product, you know? So it's just an epic fail all around. The product shit. So Title is just a real big failure. I think it's funny. Uh, well, the, what, what, the story I read is that Title is trying to like be anti-piracy, and they're trying to keep piracy off of it, and then immediately got pirate. All their songs got pirated like the second they released. Wait, really? Yeah. Like how, oh, by like somebody like somebody released their album on there or something. Like somebody just they were they just recorded all their albums at like high compression and put them on YouTube like immediately. Yeah. Like the second they released, like all their shit was just on YouTube like that second. That's even better. So it's I mean, failing it's, on every level. And it's just like yeah. a fucking failure. I mean, fuck, like, I mean, twenty dollars a month's a lot of money, man. That's a lot. Well. it... It might not be if that was the standard, but when you got Spotify offering you nine dollars a month, well, exactly. for I mean, that's a, a better a better service. Right. It'd it's, be like it'd be like if a, a, another version of Netflix came out tomorrow, that instead of eight dollars a month, it was twenty dollars a month. You can only watch like a quarter of the movies. You can only watch fucking Paul Walker movies. It's it's barely watchable. Like all, it's weird. But hey, the movies are in all high definition, mm-hmm. all four K. Mm-hmm. You know, like no four K only. Yeah. It doesn't. That's not how it works. Then it, so, it shit. Just thought, just thought that was funny. I wanted to talk about it. You got your next one here. Okay. Well, I'll talk about this one. Did you see this? Did you see this exchange I have? Yeah. <laughs> so one of my favorite things, if you guys don't know, here's one of my favorite things 
in the world. I wanted was, I wanted to put this after your uh, the, re- the the last the, the first before the break just to prove like it's perfect. Insulting waiters and like minimum wage workers is one of my favorite fucking things to do. Okay? Because they are they're so eager to jump to defend themselves. It's like it's honestly hilarious. This is my favorite thing to do. Is you know there's like these Facebook groups that are like waiters unite or some fucking bullshit. We've talked about this. Have we? Mm-hmm. A lot. You bring it up a lot. Is that a fact? Yeah. You Should I about, just skip this topic? We've had like waiter tips and how waiters would jerk themselves off and they're like where there's a secret all, club. All that shit, yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't you should point this out that basically you brought this up and okay, this so, guy attacked you, but then like at the end you got like at the end you got the I love the ending. So me and homeboy, me and my homeboy Shane, we go to a Taco Bell, which we go to all the fucking time. We go to the drive-thru, and during the drive-thru, Taco Bell fails 100% of the time. No fucking miss. 100% of the time. So we go through, we pay, wait for our food. This girl opens the window. This is the story that, this is what prompted this tweet. Mm-hmm. She goes, did you already pay? And then Shane goes, yeah. Then she hands him one bag and cl- shuts the window. And that she's gone. And like, like, okay, I mean, are we done? Is that all of our food? Like, there's two of us in the car. Is that all of, is that one bag all of our food? Can you give us a goodbye? Thanks for coming. Thanks for fucking showing up. Come back again soon. No. Did you already pay? Slam. Okay, well, that's a fucking bad service. Was it all your food? Meanwhile, it was all of our food. Meanwhile, we get no napkins, no straws for our drinks. So we got drinks with tops, yeah. no straws, no napkins. So I would say we got suboptimal service there. Not to mention the fact that she definitely should have said thanks for coming or goodbye or this is all your food. Have a good night. Anything that signified we're all set. Because we didn't know if we were, a lot of times me and Shane get two bags. Many, very often. You know what I mean? Bad service, yeah. So I tweeted, here's my tweet, quote, look, fast food workers almost all ab- are absolutely atrocious at doing their job, which has a difficulty level of zero. That's what I said. Do it. Do something. Push uh, a button. You mean you set it all up? Okay. Yeah, I don't fucking. That's what I said. Yeah. I'm and off my. I'm off my. And you know what? I agree with that. I will. I will stand by that. That wasn't a heat of the moment tweet. Look, I worked at McDonald's for three years. That job's fucking easy. I mean, in the scope of things, the fact that in my job I sit all day versus at McDonald's I stood all day. It's harder physically, but honestly. That fucking job is easy as fuck. You look at a screen, cheeseburger, fries, Coke. You get it, you give it, you're done. Shut the fuck up telling me about how hard your job is. Okay, do the fucking screech again. Nope. Nope is right. That's not a hard job, okay? You get paid minimum wage to do a job that a trained monkey could do, okay? I did it. I've been there. Don't fucking tell me I don't know what it's like. I know what it's like. It's not hard. It's hard to work a 12-hour shift. Bruh. Absolutely. Bruh. But it's not a fucking difficult Bruh. job. It's not that hard. No, it's not. Okay, anyway. So I tweet this. Whenever you tweet something like this, you're, I'm, I'm expecting to get fucking, you know, bait. You're, you're doing a bit of trolling. A bit of... <laughs> Definitely. So homeboy here, James McAllister, on Twitter, JMCLPTG, whatever. He oh, says, he on, replies to me. Down. I'm putting you on blast. Says the guy who ties ties and plays SNES games for a living. I did think this was funny. You clearly don't do this for a living. Right. Part of the reason you're tying ties is you're saying, when I go to work, yeah. you clearly have a job. So I say to him, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, uh, LOL, you think I do this for a living? And if I did, you think I'm atrocious at it? Is this remark for real? Because like, okay, I have millions of views. By the way, this, this becomes extra funny later. I do good Thai videos. Like, I'm not bad at my videos. That's the funny part at the end here. So then uh, he says, fair enough, you'd starve if I did it for a living. Yeah. Your efforts are almost on par with fast food workers, I'd say. Doesn't look hard. Oh, well, as long as James McAllister thinks it's easy. I mean, okay. Uh, so then I say to him, we got a McDonald's lifer in the house. You burn notice him a little bit. A little bit. USA, characters welcome, burn notice. Whatever. Yeah. Then he says... Go ahead and tell me how hard it is for you to tie knots and play Nintendo games made for children. <laughs> and then, uh, not on this comment, but I, I, I said on the side, Ninja Gaiden is very hard. <laughs> <laughs> then I say to him, 
why don't you cut to the, why don't you cut the small talk and tell me what your problem is? And then he says to me what his fucking problem is. My problem is you tie ties well, but you say some of the dumbest, most ignorant shit otherwise. That's my favorite bit. <laughs> is that the whole argument he was he started with is you you can't fucking tie tie ties for shit. Your videos suck. You suck. But then at the end he goes, you do this really well. I just disagree with your statements. <laughs> Like, that's what it gets down to. Like, he completely turns back from what he started with. It's just funny to me. It's a, it's a good bit. It's funny. So It is funny. Yeah. And, you know, I just love I love getting waiters and fucking, you know, they bitch about their fucking tips and the fast food workers are having such a hard time. Look, your job... Your job's a fucking joke, okay? And I'm sorry if you have that job. And if you're, like, below 18 and you're working at McDonald's, no shame. I did it, and it was a great job. It taught me a lot about coming in on time and being a great worker. I say no shame in general, but there's no shame, man. But but do it well. But do it, yeah. Do a good job. And he, this is, you know what? This is something. Sorry, I didn't mean to hate you. Sorry. I there's something I want to talk about that I didn't put on here. But here's something that this this occurred to me when I was looking for a new job. As you know, I've said before, I've been on a job hunt for a long time. I finally got a new job. Congratulations to me. But here's my point. Treat everything you do as a potential selling point for yourself later. Treat everything you do as a portfolio piece for a later job application. Okay? And what I'm basically saying is take pride in everything you're doing because it'll help you later. Like, be great at your job at Taco Bell. Be fucking great at it. And my boy Danny at Taco Bell, my fucking boy Danny, I love that guy. He f- is phenomenal at being a Taco Bell employee. I'm going to give a pick. Piggybacking off your point here. Go ahead. It's on. I think it's still on Netflix, but it's the documentary Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Oh yeah. And the whole premise is that you sh- there's there's an art and a skill and a beauty in having a vocation, and the idea that every day you take that vocation, you come in and you do a little better, and you do a little better the next day, and you do a little better the next day, and there's a zen in that, and you should take pride in that. And in some sense, that is its own reward. Yep. And you should, if, you know, like when I when I thought I had a chance to do my job for forever. I really liked it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I did. And as soon as that chance went away, I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Do you know? Like, I was like, I was like, do I care about this? Does this matter? It, it probably still does, but to me, it didn't as much. But for a while, I was taking pride in it, and every day I was coming and wanting to be better and working harder. And I, I kind of got shit on a little bit, so that kind of got taken away. But there's still an art in that, and I still saw the beauty in that, and I think everybody should should apply that method. So watch Jiro Dreams of Sushi and apply that Check method. Check that show out. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. And, and you know, these people who, like this girl who slammed the door on us, she obviously didn't give a fuck, you know? It's not like I'm going to like, oh, poor girl, she must be having a heart. I don't give a shit how hard her fucking day is. She treated me like shit. Yeah. I'm, an, I'm a customer. It's like that one guy who, who treated us all really poorly. Yeah. And I'm not being an asshole. I come in there and we're just being normal. Look, you're right. I'm right. I know I'm right because... <laughs> bottom line. So there it is. Um... So, you know, give me a comment on if anything you, you feel is re- relevant there. But that happened. That's a conversation that happened. And I just love the, the entitlement that's felt by, like, these, these minimum wage workers. And I don't want to say they don't deserve it. But, like, you got to be good at your job first. Yeah. You know, and me and Mitch, my boy Mitch. Mitch is a, light, like, long-time waiter. Ditch. Bartender. D- ditch. Yeah. I, I hang out with him. I told him the story. And he goes, you know what the thing is with waiters that are like always bitching about how little tips are getting? Every day they bitch about how little tips are getting. And he's like, meanwhile, here I am. My tips are fine. What are you doing wrong to get bad tips? Like maybe at some point you're the fucking problem, you know? And that's a fucking fact, guys. Oh, you got stiffed in your tip? What did you do wrong? Instead of blaming the customer? Fucking Germans, they never fucking tip. Yeah, people with kids, they never fucking tip. Fucking fat people, they never Look, tip. What are you doing wrong? There's, when are you going to get there? You're saying that people should take accountability for their wow, own don't actions? Fucking... <laughs> Sorry, Next. I shouldn't have. All right, hey, I want to fucking get to this PS4 review I've been putting on, on weeks. Let's do it, man. You want me to just get into it? You want to put, put this on hold? Can I pee? Yeah, you can pee because I'm going to talk. Go. So I bought I bought a PS4, like I said about a while ago. Uh, I fucking love it. I'm so happy I bought it. I think it was the right move. I was very hesitant about it for a while. I panicked forever, but I'm loving it. Nice little fucking hop and skip over there. So I want to give a little review on it and tell you all the all the things I think. I'm going to give you my full featured breakdown. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so here I got a middle list here. So here's my impressions. The first thing I want to talk about is the controller. Uh, 
I was never a big fan of, of PS3 controllers. I thought they were a bit a bit weird. They felt a bit weird in my hand. They just felt small. Like it was for a baby. You know, like a babby. Like for babbies. Like little babbies. Like little babbies held this controller in their hands and they played with the sticks and they pushed the buttons and fuck that. Uh, but this one feels great. It feels a lot like the Xbox controllers. You know, a little bigger, uh, more spaced off your hands. Everything feels nice, more tactile. I really enjoy that. Uh, so the controller's great. There's there's a couple... I like the triggers a lot. Uh, they're positioned better, and they've got a good feel. The only thing that's weird to me about it is I still can't fucking figure out this L1, R, R1, R2 thing. I wish they were just fucking different. Like, the, the, the Xbox has the best because it's the bumpers and the triggers. They're different. I know the difference. When I see LB, I think bumper. I don't think fucking which trigger should I pull. That's dumb. Fix that. That's my thing. Going on. Uh, there's this weird light thing on the back of the controller. It's like a... You can dim it and make it dimmer, but... Hey, PlayStation sucks. <laughs> Am I right? You you, you, you held the controller. The controller's great. It feels really nice. I mean... It, it, you, the buttons are weird. You're not used to it. It's not as good as an Xbox controller. I'll tell you that. I th- I haven't felt the new ones, but I, I definitely think it's a little bit worse, but negligibly. It's fine. Um, did you hear my, my biggest rant? Is the the, the fact- buttons fucking the L R L two? Did you hear me say that? Or did you say I that heard them, but yeah. I agree. I agreed forever. Yeah. Fucking call them different things. Why would you do that? It's so confusing. I can't who, remember who which one. Who can remember that shit? Yeah. When I see left bumper, whatever. But that that's clear. Did you notice the light thing on the back? That like there's that little light bar. So there's a little light bar between the triggers. And what's cool about it, so like I, I'm playing in the dark, right? I'm playing a, a game that has a flashlight feature. Okay. When I turn the flashlight on, the light bar gets really bright and white. So it's almost like I turned a flash. In my room, all of a sudden, there's like, they're in the room. It's like a flashlight. Very cool. It was a nice little touch. Good touch. When I die, it goes red. So it's like, a, like you die with oh, the nice. red screen. That's nice. A little bit annoying, but like I said, you can dim it. It's that's a cool a, little that's feature. That's a cool feature. Yeah, I like that. There's another thing where there's a speaker built in to the controller. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah, a little cool. Not not like you talking to it, but it makes noises. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. Yeah. <laughs> fire. So like uh, in one, like you'll hear, like in, in Last of Us, which you played, when I turn the flashlight on, it clicks on the speaker. So it's like you're clicking on the flashlight. Yeah, it's close to you. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That is, it is a, good, it's a good experience. And you can turn that on and off. I thought that was a really nice touch. That's cool. There's also the, the little pad in the middle is a touch screen. So like when I'm navigating around the menu. the menu, I can use the touch pad and move around. It's also a button you can push down. It's actually two buttons. It's got a left and right side. You can push both sides. Very nice touch. Uh, so I like the controller a lot. If you've been holding off on a, on a PS4 for the controller, put that away. It's great. Really nice. Uh, there's also the share stream feature, which I think is really cool. So one of the buttons, there's no more start and select. There's uh, options and share. And with the share button, you can take a screenshot right away. Fucking I can send it to Twitter, post it on Facebook, fucking just save it, which is cool. Love that do a video so like if you're a streamer I can start streaming right or I just right from so like if I double tap it it'll start taking video and if I've got a PlayStation camera or I've got a microphone I can just start recording and doing a playthrough just like the way you do your Nintendo videos I can do that with a PlayStation just right from the, the system watch my Nintendo videos watch crazy Nintendo videos I mean you do them poorly and you're bad at them and I'm anybody atrocious them. at them I would starve yeah. I made a living on them uh, but they're great now here's my real fucking feature that I've loved. They just added this like a, a couple weeks ago. Rest for Zoom. So like, here's what I'll compare it to. You can either turn your computer off, your laptop, or you can shut the screen and it goes to sleep. And when you open the screen, all your stuff's still there. The PS4 just added this feature, and I think Xbox had it for a while, I'll admit, where I can either turn it off, or I can put it in rest mode, where it goes to like really low power, and it, it stops sucking all the power out of your, you know, energy, but it's like in sleep. But it keeps it. But then I turn it back on. It keeps state. And it goes right back to where I was in the game. Yeah. It just turns right back like on. Like an iPhone. Yep. It's clutch. It's so nice. It, to be able to play a game and not have to be like, oh, I got to get to the next save point or fucking, you know, just... So you can just turn off the Xbox? Yeah, I just, well, I, I hold I mean, the... I, the yeah, I hold the, the button down in the middle and I go put in the rest mode and it basically turns off. It's like it's asleep. The screen goes dark, people are watching stuff, whatever. And it's just like... It's off, more or less, you know? It's using up a little energy, but not a lot. Yeah. And then I turn it back on, I hold the button down, pops back up. But your game's back. My game's back right where I was. Sick. Like I never, like I never Love left. Love it. Love it. Great fucking feature. So underrated. Another thing they just added is Spotify. Uh, they added Spotify to the system itself. <laughs> <laughs> you think I was going to keep talking? <laughs> just, uh, you just fart a little bit? Just sneak a fart out. Yes, sir. I really don't want anything of this. And I go like this, and I 
hit your throat. <laughs> That's next time you fart. <laughs> uh, so anyway, but Spotify, it's built. It's an app, basically, in the system where Netflix is an app on Xbox. It's free for everybody. So like, I came home the other day. So even if you don't have a subscription, I came home the other day and I was like, I want to hear some music. I want to hear some music while I do the dishes. And I don't have like a nice speaker or a sound system or anything like, you know, use Spotify through. So I just turn on the TV, turn on the PlayStation, put on Spotify. All my stuff's there. All my music's there. I can, I can play everything. Control like fully. Like that con Kanye West? Yeah, I can play that Kanye West music. I hit Kanye West, you know? It's great. And it plays everything. Here's the best thing, though. It's integrated in the system in a way and it's getting better with a lot of... It'll automatically set it so when you turn a game on, it'll play the... It'll replace the music in your games. Right? So if I'm playing, let's say, let's say I'm playing uh, fucking Mortal Kombat, right? And I, I don't want to hear the fucking whatever it is. I want to hear uh, Dead... Uh, what, no. The, 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 the Beach Boys. The Beach Boys. I want to hear God only knows, you know? I want to hear that. So let's say I want to hear that. So I put that on and I go to Mortal Kombat and now the music stopped and it's still playing Spotify as I play. I like that. And some games haven't supported this yet. It's kind of a new feature, but they're they're encouraging all developers to do it. But fuck, I'll just turn the music down in the game. You can do that in every game. And then have my Spotify going. Xbox used to have that. They got rid of that. I remember it. I used to plug like USBs in or I'd load my, my CDs on there and then play them while I played other games. Xbox, it was so much fucking work. Here's the fucking... If you're a fucking piece of shit fucking cunt developer of a console, mm-hmm. you fuck. I hope you fucking die first. Second... Here's what you should never do with your console. Here's a free fucking tip for you. Yeah. Don't ever remove a feature. Don't ever remove a feature. Don't ever remove a feature. Unless you legally have to, and even then you fucked up doing that. Yeah. Don't ever remove a feature, because that there is a, a... Fatality. For your console. Absolutely. Yeah. And there was a time where Xbox let me play whatever I want on the, the audio player. Yep. During no matter what. And whatever I did, I played it, and it would override the game music. So I played Gears of War... Yeah. With Madonna playing. Yep. I remember that vividly. I'm not making this up. That happened. And I played it every night. And I loved it. What's one of the best video game soundtracks in the last 10 years? Mass Effect. Right? Sure. Fantastic. I love it. You're playing a sci-fi game. You want some Mass Effect. I want Mass Effect music. Just hit up Spotify. Go into that sci-fi game. Yep. You got Mass Effect playing. Can't do it on better, Xbox. Better ambience. Can't do it on Xbox. So I love this feature. It's brand new. I, I, think, I think PS4 really did great. And the fact that everybody can use it. You don't have to have a subscription. Clutch. It's a great, it's a win for everybody. PS4 gets a win. Spotify gets a win because now you're going, oh shit, Spotify's great. Pretty great. I want to put it on my fucking, I'll buy the plug on my phone. Test it out. Genius. You're right. Uh, so I've been playing Dying Light. I love Dying Light. Dying Light's a first person zombie game, right? Think Xenoclash, right? That first person like melee kind of focus. Mm-hmm. Add parkour. Mm-hmm. It's the first game where I've really looked at it and gone, this is this couldn't be done in the old systems. You know, it's like next gen. It feels next gen. Mm-hmm. But you're running through a city. I'm climbing on stuff. I'm like, you know, jumping up poles, like telephone poles. I'm navigating around this fucking city. And meanwhile, I've got a cricket bat. And I get a zombie in my face and I fucking hit him with the bat. And it's gory and beautiful. But it's the most fun I've ever had, like, walking around a game. You know, it's the, the, you see the sunset right in the distance. Meanwhile, I'm like, you know, jumping over obstacles, climbing up all these like uh, en- engines and shit. It's just a lot of fun. And it's got that really, you know, pick up and play gameplay. Having a great time with that. I highly recommend that. Uh, and then I've been playing this game, Bloodborne. Bloodborne. Have you heard of it? Yeah, the hardest game ever. Whatever. So the same. I know. But it does remind me a lot of like the the, the old Nintendo games, I didn't want that. where you where you kind of like you pick it up and you're like, no, you know, there's no fucking, you don't just get to the checkpoint, you don't just get there, you gotta earn it, right? And the check, so like it's like a ninja, it's a ninja guy. Then you're you're going through the level, and if you fuck up the level, you start over, you die, you start over. It's it's punishing, but it's not impossible. It's actually. I think the the reputation it gets is way worse than what the game is. Because people are fucking pussies now. Yeah, like Ooh, it's so hard. Like, Grow the like, fuck up, kid. It's, it's definitely for people who like video games. Like I wouldn't give it to my girlfriend and be like, play this game. Yeah. Right? But it's it's very doable. And you can like grind a little bit. So you get these like blood echoes, right? So the way it works is like you start in the you start at a lantern, and the lantern's like your safe checkpoint, and and there's a there's a safe place called the Hunter's Dream. And so whenever you hit the lantern, you can go back and you can upgrade your character. Um and then you can like you level up and level up your weapons and you when you kill people 
you get these blood echoes. That's what they're called. They're currency, basically. And then you can go back to the lantern and go to the hunter's dream and level up. And so now you're better. Now you have an easier time beating these people the next time. You can grind a bit. Now, the, the, the kind of the, the push and pull is that when you go back to the lantern, all the enemies repopulate. So you got to go fight them again. So it's kind of that, that you know, so you get through a really hard section and, it, and it's just patience. It's all about patience and like playing smart. You get through a section and you kind of look and you go, well, I've got a lot of blood echoes, right? I got a lot. Do I go back and level up my guy or do I push through and try to find a lantern? If you oh, die, you lose them? If you die, they like fall to the ground and you can go through again and pick them up. So you can mm -hmm. kill all the enemies again or just suicide run and get them. And if you get them, you got them back. But if you die while trying to get them, then they're gone forever. So it's kind of a, a risk reward system, which I really appreciate. It makes dying relevant. You know, you don't want to be stupid. You want to play smart, which is cool. But it's not impossible. It's easier to get better. Like if you're bad, you can get better and get through it. It's gorgeous. Like it's it's not the prettiest game I've ever seen, but the the art style is so fucking cool. All the care, all the creatures look fucking weird and like dead and like it, it's got this really gothic style horror look to it. So all the villagers have these long, creepy faces, and they've all got pitchforks, and there's all these werewolves that are all fucked up, and like, I'll, I'll show you some gameplay. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm having a, a blast with it. But the best compliment I can give it is that when I'm not playing it, I'm thinking about it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll, I'll put it down and be like, oh, this game's exhausting. I'm so stressed. Like, I can't play it right now. I'll go to work the next day, and I'll be like, fuck, I think I can beat that boss. I think I can get him. I just gotta play better this time. Like, it, it gets into you. And it really fucking hooks in. And I can't remember the last time I was so, like, into a game where I just thought about it and wanted to be better and wanted to, like, really get into it. And the story's really kind of, like, behind the scenes. So it's as you get into it as much as you can. So in, in, the, in our, you know, link here, I posted a link to a YouTube video where you watch a guy play the first kind of little bit section. It's not to the, it's before the first boss. It'll spoil a little bit for you. But my biggest problem with the game is it's very obtuse. Like, I, I see items and I don't know what the fuck they are. Mm. You know, like, I don't know what they do and they don't really explain it to you. It's very hard to navigate. The systems are weird. So I recommend watching at least the first half of this video to give you a kind of starter's guide of how to play. But if you have a PS4 or you're thinking about beginning a PS4, don't be scared about this game. It's one of the most fun games I've ever played. It's mm. beautiful. It sinks into me. I'll show it to you. One of the coolest things are the weapons. I'll say this for the last thing you get these trick weapons, right? So every weapon you get transforms. You hit L1 and they transform left bumper. So for example, I get an ax and I got an ax in one hand and a gun in the other. And the gun, the whole point of the gun is it's like a parry, right? So a guy's attacking me and if I shoot at the right time, I stagger them and do like a big attack. That's what that's used for. So it's all about timing. But if I, if I got the ax in my right hand, I hit L1, I literally take the ax, I slide it and now it's a long two-handed ax. There's another weapon that's called the Kirk Hammer. I'll spoil it a little bit, but whatever. And the Kirk Hammer is you got a sword and you're fighting with your sword. And then you, the, there's an animation, L1, you reach back behind you and you put the Kirk, the sword through like a big stone that's on your back and now it's a hammer. And it's like this really badass fucking transformation. Another weapon is a cane. You're fighting with a cane. You hit a button and now it's a whip. The the cane breaks it like a part and it's like a, like a whip with all these different parts on it. Looks cool as fuck. So I love that shit. Uh, couldn't recommend it more. Love Bloodborne. Get it. PS4. Bloodborne. PS4. Highly recommend it. Having the best time. Uh, next gen, baby. Okay. Picks. That was a whole pick. It was. I guess you're right, technically. It was a pick. I want to give like a review, like a breakdown of the system. But it was a pick. It was a pick. All right. Well, now we're really into picks. And I'll tell you what picks I have. Me and my boy Mitch. Show me your pick. Me and my boy Mitch. Mm -hmm. We did a thing called Escape MSP. I was wondering where these fucking pictures were. This is, okay, so it, I'm not sure if it's in other cities or not, but it's definitely in, in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Mm -hmm. It's called Escape M MSP. Mitch got me into it. What do they do? They literally jerk off in a cult. <laughs> That's not accurate. What they do here is they take you and your group of friends into a secret agent type of mission. It's a role-playing mission, mm -hmm. real life. And then you try to break out of a situation where you're, you know, you're trying to solve a problem and solve a mission. I love this kind of shit. Now, in this case, Mitch did it for his father for his birthday. So it was me and Mitch and his parents. Kind of like the game, that Michael Douglas movie? Yes. Very much like that. But, well, not that, in, not in not that, that intense. You're in one yeah. room. Yeah. But, yeah, like that. Sick. So it was me and Mitch and Dash mm -hmm. and Mitch's parents and somebody else. 
And we, so the, the way this is set up, the way that our mission was set up, is we're in a we're in the we're trapped in a, the basement of a bank, which is a bomb in it. And there's a big bomb on the wall, and you can see it. It's a really cheesy bomb. It's like here's a bomb. Here's C4. Here's like a bunch of like keyholes. It's a bomb. It's a bomb and, and a keypad. And we have to fi- we have to figure out the keypad password to disarm the bomb. And we're in a room, and we're all handcuffed with our hands behind our back in this room. And there's six of us. And then so we have to look through this room and the room's full of all this shit. Like the walls are covered in like chalk and there's like magnets everywhere and there's broken cash registers laying on the ground and there's all this bullshit and there's a safe with the big Is it always a different scenario through this company? Or Every six months they do two missions. Got it. So we're doing mission two in this mm-hmm. case. Uh, so we have to like figure out what's... So you're like, you're looking through everything and we find a key and the key opens a safe and the safe is a chess piece which is an eight on the bottom and then that chess piece is the key to unlock like a different safe and all this shit happens. I love this shit. It's a whole world it's a whole like role playing whirlwind of like you're a secret agent get it done. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. I love puzzles. So this mission we did has a 26% success rate out of 300 people. Oh that's really cool. So it's not meant to be solved. No. Oh, wow. 300 people tried it. Yeah. Only 26% succeeded. We won. Six, like 60, oh, 70 people maybe? Like, yeah. yeah. We won with 45 seconds left on the clock. Wow. Of the, of the, of the That's bottom. so dramatic. It was so dramatic. It was so dramatic. In the last moment, we had, a, we had chess pieces everywhere. We had to put the chess pieces on a chessboard in a row mm-hmm. and then read the, the bottom of the chess pieces in a row together to put in the timer of the bomb to disarm the bomb. It was really intense. That's really sick. If you, I don't know if it's national. I don't think it is. It's in the Twin Cities area. If you're here, definitely try it out. I want to do it. It's twenty five dollars a person. That's it. That's it. You need four to six people that really like get a good experience. Mm-hmm. Um, super recommended. It. It's really fun. I want to do it. I want to get the other. It's friends. great. Escape MSP. Try I, it. Out. I heard about this cool art, like artsy thing in San Francisco. Similar idea. Like Sounds art. gay. All right, we're done. Next topic. <laughs> There is a product called Twitch Shot. When did you add this on here? Go ahead, keep thinking. Twitch Shot. Twitch Shot. It's it's a Chrome extension that makes it so you know when you on Facebook when you put a link on Facebook, Facebook automatically pulls the uh, image, image and like metadata out of it. Yeah, that's nice. This essentially does that, but for Twitter. That's nice. So you install it on your Chrome browser. Daddy likes. And then you go to Twitter.com. And then on tweet, you have tweet now or Twitch shot. And if you want to share a link at Twitch shot, you you click Twitch shot, you share a link, it automatically pulls an image out, and you can pick which image you want. There's a lot of, you can pick which one you want, and then it uh, just posts the image and the link together. It's just like a Facebook methodology of posting a link. It's really good. So that's my pick there. It's easy. That's easy. I love that because I actually hate that. I hate that you don't see it when you. Yeah, Twitter's a fucking look. I'm with you on this 100. Facts 100 percent facts. Twitter sucks at doing Twitter. Okay, Twitter themselves can't fucking handle their own bullshit. Twitter's a horrible company. Fuck Twitter. Hey. All right, I'll hey. shout. Hey. I scream. Hey, Twitter me this, Batman. Is there a worse company than Twitter? Twitter's the worst fucking company at being itself that has ever been existed. I will every every time I want a feature from Twitter, I gotta go somewhere else. They're they're only now getting to a point where they're not on like it's amazing how far they've gotten on a on a system that's so basic. They're it's, so bad. It's the most basic bitch of social media, but yet it's great because everybody uses it. But the, like other apps have really shown it how little usability it has. Buffer. The fact that I can't schedule tweets in Twitter is insane. It's such a fail. Look. Do you have a, a, a Twitter replacement that you use or do you just suffer through Twitter? I suffer. Mm-hmm. I suffer through I Twitter. I tried TweetBot for a while and didn't love it. I just can't find anything that's that's clean enough while simultaneously having the features I use. I did use TweetDeck for a long time. Uh, and then to. Twitter shut it down. What do you mean? I use TweetDeck right now. They, didn't they shut a bunch of features no. down? No. No. Are you sweet? You have to use sweet tech. Uh, right you now. have to use sweet tech. Tweet tech's better. 
Like, get tweet- I mean, it's better than yeah. fucking Twitter. And like, you can you can have your columns where you like, you know, like I can have a column in TweetDeck where say anytime like so if I run a Twitter that's you know Krasny's jerk off effects. It's whenever you know it's a vi- it's a bunch of videos where whenever Krasny jerks off, different things shoot out like rainbows or sparkles or fireworks. Um, trademark, sorry. Uh, so like I can search Krasny jerk and off, and whenever I see those three words in a tweet, that'll be the stream, right? I can have that as a bar. Like a different like Twitter feed, that's great. You can't do that in Twitter. You can't just have it constantly going like that. You look confused. If I if I close one eye mm-hmm. and watch you with one eye only, mm-hmm. you look like you're high def. You're looking really great. <laughs> <laughs> I look sharp. I'm not joking. One eye. One eye. Me. You know what? You, look. Don't say a word. I'm straight up like really right now at this moment. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Are you you think I'm attractive? No. It, you're so HD right now. <laughs> what does that mean? We're in life. Everything's high definition. Oh my god. My picks. My picks for moving on. Uh I watched Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters yesterday. Uh, fun, fun action flick. Well, you get your head in the game here. Fun action flick. It's on Netflix. Uh, not amazing, but a four out of five. Fun. I, I, <laughs> Watch it if you want a fun, mindless action flick. Better than you think. Jeremy Renner, he's got the chops. Can we talk about Wild Card? Yes. Yeah, let's Please. talk about Wild Card. I made Krasny watch this movie. So my girlfriend, Chloe... Loves Jason Statham. She loves mindless action flicks. Who doesn't? She's a great girlfriend. She loves those, like, you know, like when you're like, oh, guys love mindless action flicks. She's great. She loves them too. So me and Chloe, she's, I was like, Chloe, there's a new, new Jason Statham movie out that I can we watch. She goes, let's watch it. It's called Wild Card. I, it goes, an out of luck gambler shoots for one last big score and like, you know, whatever. And she, or like sold. Weirdest movie I've ever fucking seen in my life. Talk to me about it. I, uh, you already I mean, said it. you gotta watch this movie I watched it not cause it's good it's I mean it's not bad it's not bad but the movie itself plays like a series it's there, like somebody took four episodes of a series like you're saying four episodes mixed them all into one movie and then didn't finish the second half of the season yeah that's exactly right yeah it's like you're watching a series and like the, the plot of the movie you know quote unquote is resolved in 25 minutes. And then the rest of the movie is all bullshit. Like, it's so weird. And then you're watching it anyway because like you're you're invested in Jason in Jason? Jason Statham. J- is it Jason? It Yes, Jason, Jason Statham. Statham. Jason Statham. It's so badass. You're watching it anyway. But like, the whole movie's fucking like over anyway. It it gets done with that one plot line, right? And then all of a sudden it's like, "Oh, here's the new plot line." Done. Then I'm like, okay, okay, well, uh, here's the new plot line. I get it. This plot line is going to finish the movie into a climax, and then it's going to have a resolution. So all of a sudden, that that's wrapped up really clean and neat. And I'm like, oh, well, okay, well, I guess... W- so the other guy's going to come after him now. Now now it's really like... If there's another level to it, it's going to be the climax. Nope, movie's over. Movie's done. Movie's just over. And I look like the credits roll, and I look over at Chloe, and I go... What? No, I go no. I go no. It, no, it's not over. The movie's not over. There's gonna be uh, thirty more minutes. Nope, movie's done. It's the weirdest fucking movie I've ever seen. It like it creates characters and then everything's resolved. You know what it's like? It's like a little kid telling a story, and they and like he doesn't know how to finish the story, and then he's like, and they live happily ever after. Right? Yeah. Are you? A, Am I still high death? It's okay? like that. Yeah, but I will say. It's really fun to watch because of the, how weird that is. But also, there are three sick action sequences. Real sick. Some of the best action I've ever seen. Watch it. The end fight is awesome. Very. So it's almost worth watching for that. Phenomenal. It's a pick. It's not great. It's actually pretty bad. But it's so bad, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to skip this one for now. But I'm going to go to my last pick. Daredevil just came out today. Today is April, uh, April tenth, two thousand one five, 
And Daredevil just released on Netflix, the same way House of Cards does. It's a Netflix original series. Man, it's so fucking good, Krasny. Mm. It's so gritty and dark, and there's mob people involved. I got a friend. I got a friend. Oh, man. Let me tell you. He literally jerks off in a cup when he thinks about gritty mob stuff. He loves it. Literally just in a cup, and he sells it to the people on the street. It's a long thing. Uh, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know what I'm talking about, Zach. But... It's all I've watched the first two episodes and I can't fucking wait to watch the rest of it. It's so fucking good. It's the darkest Marvel shit I've ever seen. And if you don't know Daredevil, you're fucking up. But it's great. Watch the fuck out of it. Uh, uh, so good. Vi- visceral. It's mad visceral. Mad visceral. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. Those are my picks. Hey, why don't you email us at abdpodcast at gmail.com if you really want me to fucking respond to what you're telling me or saying or you want to comment, avdpodcast at gmail.com. Do it. Please give us a five-star review on iTunes. If you've noticed, I usually try to mention people who do because we really appreciate it. We might bring the gift thing back, but that, that'll be a, in a little while. But I love those reviews. It, it boosts our ratings on iTunes. It, it boosts our you know our visibility. And uh, I literally jerk off in a cup when I when I think about it. It's true. So do that. And uh, thanks for coming. Yeah, uh, watch our other videos. Follow me at Trial by Yuri. Yuri is a Y at Tweetball.